And I'm back again. And this is actually my second time filming this vlog. Uh, I first filmed it yesterday. Uh, but today at work, uh, so much has happened that uh, I have to redo this vlog. Um, <coughs> uh, so anyway, uh, last week uh, I did the 2, 5 a.m. shift to 1 p.m. Uh, uh, in the bakery of the, the new store I'm at. Uh, and I didn't really like it. No. Did not like getting up before the, the sun rise. And then this week, uh, I will... I've been scheduled every other day of work, which is a little weird, but but kind of kind of cool that I work one day, then I get a day off. It's kind of cool, I guess. But uh, but then next week I was originally scheduled to work. Monday through Thursday, uh, doing the breakfast shift in the bakery, uh, which is 3 a.m. to 11 a.m. No! So I would have been doing uh, an eight hour uh, work shift before noon, but today I go into work and I find out the the whole schedule has been rearranged. Uh, not, not just for the bakery, but also for the, the rest of the store. So it says I'm not in the bakery anymore. Next week was supposed to be on my last week, but uh, I guess Wednesday was my last day in the bakery. And now I don't get to do those 3 a.m. shifts. I have other news, which is that I actually got hired for a different job, which pays a buck fifty more an hour than my current job. My, my new job is at a a grocery store in the deli uh, department, Del deli service. So it is similar to what I've been doing lately. Um, and I, I mentioned this before, you know, uh, I could end up only getting jobs that are similar to uh, the jobs I've done before, because I've, because I have the experience, so that kind of seems uh, to be happening. But that that could change in the future. Hopefully, will will and I'll get a job uh, that's in the media field. But anyway, what happened when I was uh, g getting hired for this new job? Uh, I kind of got hired without really knowing it. Like, as I said before in other vlogs, uh, unless it's explicitly told to me, then I might not understand it. Uh, like, for this job, uh, during the job interview, uh, the interviewer didn't say 
you're hired or I'm hiring you, something like that. I, I wasn't really sure if I had been hired, but I, I kind of thought I did that, that I had been because I've been on a lot of job interviews, a lot, uh, so many that I can kind of tell if I'll hear back from the job uh, at, after the interview and uh, and and with this job interview I uh, uh, kind of got the sense that uh, they they wanted to hire me because uh, she she the, the job interview or uh, she was going into much more detail about the job. Uh, usually, I just get like a general description of the job, like a brief outline of of the job I'm in, being interviewed for. But she was going into um, like like the um, <coughs> the the shifts and she was asking me what which shift I would prefer and I said day day shifts <laughs> yeah I don't want to do the early morning ones anymore and not too many of the evening shifts and yeah and she also said that uh she thought I would be a good fit for this job, which is really great to hear. But I, I still wasn't sure if that meant like she was going to call me back in a few days after she got through with all the uh, job interviews or or our or uh, if I was being hired right now, which apparently I was. <laughs> and then when they called me uh, a couple of days later to set up a, a time to for me to come in and uh, do the hiring process, the, the paperwork, I guess it is, uh, I actually asked, the person, uh, if this means I'm officially hired, and they said yes, and and I do that thing uh, quite often when I'm talking to people. I'll I'll just make sure I understand at the end of the conversation, like just. Uh, like re repeat back to them what they said uh, to make sure I, I heard them right and or do like uh, a, a summary of, of what the conversation is and just say to them like uh, is that right or or that's what's happening, something like that, just so I'm not wrong and I didn't miss anything because that's, that's kind of what I'm afraid of. Uh, uh, either missing something or doing uh, the, the wrong thing. And I guess it might be because of doubt that I have to make sure that uh, I understand. Uh, like, I doubt myself that I heard right, or I, or I start questioning uh, uh, that I heard the right thing, or that I understand, and I just have to uh, get final uh, fin final approval, 
But no, not final approval. Uh, the final verdict, I guess, on what what's happening, or or get proof that that I heard right and know what's going on. So yeah, I think I was hired in that job interview and didn't know it, which actually has happened to me before. Uh, was my movie theater usher job. Uh, the guy interviewing me was uh, also telling me a lot about the job, and then and then he said, uh, "Can you come back uh, in a few days at this time uh, for for more about the job?" and and I was, I was thinking it was going to be like a, a second interview, a follow-up interview. Uh, but then I, I come to the theater and it, it uh, turned out to be like an employee training uh, meeting for new employees. And there is a, a few other people who had been hired. And and not picking up on on subtle stuff is is like a a top uh, symptom, I guess, trademark, uh, whatever, whatever of of autism. Uh, autistic people have a hard time picking up on subtle clues or or subtle jokes or su sarcasm uh, I, I have a little bit of tr trouble with, with all of those uh, so yeah yeah that's that's a main factor with autism and and for me uh, and my diagnosis. And, and yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm happy that I got this new job. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, I guess the next thing is uh, telling my current boss that I got a new job and that I'll be leaving probably in the next two weeks, uh, I'll have to ask, uh, my new job when they want me to start. I'll wait until I find out to tell my current, uh, job that I'm leaving. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely want to wait until I know, but, but that's not really a conversation I'm looking forward to. Uh, something I don't want to do, like the 3 a.m. shift, but this time I am going to have to do it, not getting out of it. Uh, <laughs> and w with my last job, my pizza restaurant job, it, it was actually easy for me to tell them that I was leaving. Because on the day that I, uh, uh, on the day that I was going to tell them uh, that I got a new job, my boss asked me if I was still looking looking for extra hours, and and that's when I told them I actually got a new job. Uh, so that actually came up easy. Uh, on its own, but I don't see that happening with, with this job, uh, unless my boss brings up the raise again, uh, the, the raise he put my name in for, which still hasn't come through, but it doesn't matter now 
because my new job pays more than the than the, the raise. Uh, it's it, it was a dollar more an hour for the raise, but this this job this new job would be fifty cents more per hour than the raise. So so it, it doesn't matter if I get the raise or not. But yeah, so oh, I'll I'll be having that conversation soon and I'll make a video about it probably. And then the next step would be moving out, finding a place of my own and moving out. So yeah, a lot going on now for me. A lot's happening. Uh, and, and that's going to be all for this vlog. So, until next video, uh, goodbye.